be familiar with duck pin bowling, there's just a slight twist in terms of what the bowlers get to do in terms of each frame. Yes, there is. There's a, it's a three-ball game where if they need them, they throw three balls. Uh, if they throw three balls, the most they can get, of course, is ten, and you have the spare with two balls and a strike for one ball. So, And you'll see a lot of strikes, a lot of spares, and hopefully not too many tens. We've got an up-the-ladder competition for you awaiting you. Stay with us. We'll be back with championship bowling right after this. Welcome back to Championship Bowling. In our first match, 29-year-old Scott Wolgamuth will take on Dave Sissel. The number three seed, Wolgamuth hails from College Park, Maryland, and he's been on the Pro Tour seven years. He'll be looking for his third DPBA Tour victory in tonight's match. Sissel, a 24-year-old Beltsville, Maryland resident, has been on the Pro Tour four years and is hoping to pick up his very first tournament victory here at Turner's Long Meadow Bowl. As we take a look at the scoreboard, we see Dave Sissel in early trouble. He needs a mark to get back into the match. We pick up the action in the fifth frame with my partner, Joe Rainier. Dave Sissel's been bowling 11 years. And there's what he was looking for. As you see, he had a little sigh, a deep breath to kind of relieve the pressure. He's done quite well on the left side as we take a look at his form there. And in lane 17, he's been able to come up with a couple of strikes. Let's see if Scott answers the strike. Scott, 64 plus this ball through five. The last thing he wanted to happen is this what this opens the door, and, and it doesn't happen too often to our pro bowlers, but it can open the door for a, a poor frame where you would lose a lot of wood. Beautiful shot. A nice job. Sixty-seven through five. If he hits this, he'll have seventy-seven in the sixth frame. Okay, Scott tried to get back on track. He knows Dave has a strike in the sixth, and I've <laughs> he knows as well as anyone that Dave can strike it. Well thrown ball, very well done. Came back nicely to pick up the nine. When you've worked your way this far, Mike, and, and you're on TV and you're in the ladder and you have the opportunity to win a star and a couple thousand dollars, what you want to do is just really execute, exaggerate the execution, and do what you've done many, many times. And there you see he makes a spare in the seventh frame, 86 plus as Dave Sissel now bowls the seventh frame with a strike in the sixth. So the unusual approach there by uh, Scott Waldemuth. But it seems to work. Everybody comes up with their own style, whatever they're comfortable with, and that's what you stick with. Look out. Oh, the seven ten. You shoot one and one, and I tell you, with the power that Dave and the throws the ball with and the turns on the ball, he can get these pins out of the pit. But you have to hit one to make it. So, yep. and he was on a strike. Now that was a little bit of a high risk gamble. So he picks okay. up one there, and he's got seventy seven in the seventh. He is nine pins behind, plus a ball, as Scott has a spare in the seventh. Down to the final three, Mike. The frames are getting very important. Beautiful, beautiful again, shot. again, on the left side, he comes through with a strike. Three in the match thus far, and all three from the same side for David Sissel as uh, he'll take a seat. Watch, see the extension on the replay, boom. <laughs> That's our flying ducks that we refer to in the duck pin game. Here's Scott Wolgamuth. Sort of like that. He uh, tried to give a little body English to get that uh, last pin down. And uh, I think he knew he was a little right and he wanted a little help, but uh, he probably knew he released the ball well and had a lot on it. 95 through 7, an 18 pin lead if he marks. He'll have a spare through 8 with Dave Sissel having a strike in the 8th frame. Well done. Right on the button. 
105 plus through eight frames to 87 with a strike through eight for Dave Sissel. 18 pins. Scott will try to keep the pressure on. The ninth frame in any game where you're within 20 pins is very important. It's, it's your setup for the for the finish. So Scott would like to have a good pitch right here. And he, oh, pin blocked the pin out or he'd had a strike, but that was, he did what he wanted to do. He had a big count in the That's ninth a good frame. action there. And if you watch Scott, uh, and he's a little unorthodox with his start, but if you concentrate on just his arm swing, watch how nice and smooth the arm swing is. Nice pendulum swing straight back and straight forward at the target. Okay, good look there. Down, through. See how nice and smooth he turned his back. He knew he had it. And so he's working on a spare going into the 10th frame, and now David Sissel will bowl the 9th and the 10th. David needing some marks. He here. needs a strike. Mm. Call that a floater. He sort of got his hand on the side of the ball instead of under it, and the ball sort of tailed off at the end. And it's exactly why he didn't get a pin action. Okay, 95 through eight. If he makes these two, 105 in the ninth. If he strikes out, he has 135. What would put Scott on just a, a count? So. I won't say it because every time I do, I have to bite my tongue. But <laughs> if, if I were a gambler, I'd say Scott Walgamuth will be going on to face our second seed, Dale, Dale Gustafson, Gustafson. who is uh, warming up and ready to uh, step center stage at the uh, Duckman Pro Tour. But we'll finish this one out first before we count anybody out. David Sissel of the third ball coming up. Sort of uh, dejected at this point because I think he knows he's a little bit out of it. Yes, he knows it's over, and, and losing is one thing, but when you really don't perform well, it's a little upsetting. He threw three strikes, uh, so he knew when he did throw it well, he was rewarded, and when he didn't, he paid the price. As he bowlers, knows. we have a oh, beautiful ball. Scott Wolgamuth uh, just starting to get heated up now. As bowlers, we have many reasons why our score is what it is, but the, the score itself really tells pretty much the whole story. There's a good shot of that. Look at last it turning. Strike. Wow. Get that rotation and does the job and mows the pins down. This time he was uh, a little off center, a little upset uh, with himself. I think he was celebrating his victory, yeah. Mike. He's going to shoot 153 or 4, depending. He hits one or two. He has the one nine standing. Okay. 154. Nice game. And he'll go on to face Dale Gustafson. Scott Wolgamuth, the uh, number three seed, upholds his end. And he'll move on to face our number two seed on the championship bowling when we return in just one moment. <laughs> 